G'day folks, just thought I'd show you this uh, little solenoid engine that I built back in the mid 60s. Could be up to 1967, not sure the exact year, but it's at least 50 years old and made entirely from scrap. Uh, it was when we were on our old farm, we had access to all sorts of scrap. For instance, the base is made out of a piece of half inch steel, uh, so that's a bit unique I guess. But anyway, it works really well even after 50 years. Um, the flywheel is made out of uh, the guts out of an old oil filter. Could be a fuel filter, I'm not sure now. That, of course, is an old um, solenoid from a starter motor. Um, what else have we got here? And the points are from an automotive set of ignition points. And uh, put a capacitor there to stop the points from arcing. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit rough, but uh, that's what you get from uh, something that I made when we didn't have access to a lathe and I wasn't too good at making things, but by gee, the thing works quite well. I think, anyway. The points here, which is a bit unusual, I guess, the uh, throttle mechanism. It relies on this little cam here I made. Not sure how close I can get with that and how well it will show up. But it's just carved out of a piece of half inch brass rod and I've carved sort of a cam shape into it. So as the, at full throttle, put the full throttle, as the crankshaft rotates, it falls down into this cam here and the contacts close and so it will power the solenoid. So that's just past bottom dead centre, comes around, comes up to top dead centre almost and it will open the points again. At half throttle say it has to fall further down into the cam before the points close about there. But the points will open then around about the same area just before top dead centre and it works really well Well, I hope you enjoy that, folks. Thanks for watching.